As the teams are inching ever closer to making their way onto the pitch, the loggerheads on the left, the loonies on the right. The loonies were the women's champ last year. Cat Roach there will officiate the match here. Loggerheads are coached by Katie Doughty. Eagle number 201 in her playing days. Kelly Griffin coaches the Loonies. She's a legend of USA Rugby as well. A newcomer to the Loggerheads this week is 22 Sui Aau. I am so excited to see her today. I actually got the opportunity to play with her at Central Washington. She's a great player. She's got a killer stiff arm. She will be making some big hits today on defense. All right, on the other side, no Steph Ravetti, the veteran, 30 years old. She's not here this week. They've got four new players on this roster, their selections. Is there one in their lineup that you feel is going to carry them? Yep, like I had mentioned, Suya Ao. Sorry, I didn't touch there on the loonies. But, yes, I think she is going to be the big impact player for this team. All right, so the loggerheads will kick it away here to begin the match here. The 1-4 matchup. Looney Kiwi will ready? kick it away. That's the voice of Cat yep. Roach. Ready? And semifinal number one is underway. Kick fielded here by the Loonies. They're dropped inside of their own 22 there. Trying to work it up the middle. Good opening there. And trying to spin free and get through there was Ogun Jimmy there, but she's dropped. like a knock on in that tackle. It was initially great defense by the Loggerheads newcomer, Autumn Zaplicki made that first right. initial tackle. The kick just barely went 10. If you're not gonna get it in your hands, it's very important to immediately make that tackle. They got their defense set up, and ultimately with the width on this field, defense is going to Coach. win games. Bind. set. Hers rolls it in the to the back, and she gets it. He beat with it inside, little, basically a little handoff there, and a good run here, powering ahead. That's Sui Aau. I told you yep. she is a powerhouse on and off the ball. Charging her way in there. Tafuna has got it. She gives it up now. They work the near touch line. This young lady's been dangerous, and a heavy tackle delivered there by Carissa Norston on her counterpart, Angie Olakunbi. What a shot delivered. And the great thing is using your eighth player on the field, the sideline. The sideline never misses a tackle as well. So she does a great job of the inside tracking, not giving any option to step back in field, and not only making the tackle, but taking her out of bounds, and then now the ball will go back into the Looney's hands. That looked like Olakumi last week. She was really good defensively after week one MVP in San Jose. Looks like the ball's being taken back for a high tackle. It is back in the loggerhead's hands. They've got it now. Kiwi takes a look, spins it back. Outside ball, good ball, breaking a tackle, spinning toward the line. And the loggerheads get it down for the first try in the match. And there's the MVP in series stop one, Angie Olakumi. That's her seventh try of this series. That leads all women. They're on top five, nothing. It all starts from Sui Aau, though, in that center position. You see it takes two defenders. She commits two defenders every single time because she is such a threat with the ball. The outside player has to suck in a little bit closer to make sure that she's not going to get through herself. Being that close to the try line, all she had to do was pass that off, and it was an easy dot down in the corner. She's been really good. I think she's been one of the very best. You no, know, you'll give me your opinion on her. The conversion, no good, so it remains 5 nothing, but. Talking about her week one to week two, you saw the offensive side in week one. In week two, you saw it on the defensive side. Yep, and you're going to have to pull it all together today. Looney's have it. It's all back. Mishandled it there. Accidental offside. You kicked it into a player in front of you. So there's Stop. Kat Roach. She's got that mic on. Basically the third, fourth member of our broadcast team. It's great to have those mics on the referees. You know exactly what's going on down on the pitch. Two, 
The well, Loonies are going to have to do sure something a little bit different to maintain okay? possession here. The Crouch. Loggerheads have had their ball, the ball in ball. their hands for probably three minutes of yep. three and a half in this Set. game so far. You're right. They have barely had it, and the Loggerheads have got it again. Here they come. Purrs into the hands of Kiwi. Tackle down low on her. They get it free. Now to the back. Spinning, driving ahead there with the handle there with Zaplicki, one of those newcomers in this Loggerheads lineup. Four of them in the lineup today. Little dummy there from Purrs, trying to get the offload. Can't, she's taken down. Into the back. And there's a shot delivered. That young lady you've been talking about, Ashley, and she delivers a heavy blow there. Yeah, it might be a 15 style play, but if it works for you, it works for you. A high tackle coming on Suya Ao. She is going to make you pay for it. Again, there mm. is space wide. The ball could go wide, but if you got a chance to go up the middle and you're Suya Ao, go for it. The issue there is that offload. She's got to keep that ball in her hands to maintain possession. So you see the try count here so far. Now Crouch. in round three, Five. headliners and loggerheads, 17 Set. apiece. Looney's have it. Trying to make something happen. They've been in this end of the pitch. And they get a good run here all the way out near the halfway line. Kiwi over there to make the stop there on Thompson. That's a difference maker that? in a play like this. That defensive effort from Kiwi. If she Mark, is not there and that is scored out. underneath the posts, a conversion there would have put the Loonies ahead. Tackle into touch. So it goes over to the loggerheads. Hers. Playing it back, Kiwi, nowhere to go. Gets away from one, spins off another, still has it. She's gonna go up top over the defenders there. Ola Kunmi's got it out there. She's got the try for the loggerheads. Final 90 seconds here in the first half. Purse looks. Some room here. And it's turned over right into the hands of the Looney. See if they can take advantage of this. They work it over the top. Fall back. Ball was back behind her. Good tackle made there by Zap Licky. She's made a couple of plays here in this first half. Now some room here for the Looney's. Breaking the halfway line, looking for a little support. None there as Gonzalez took Get it inside back on. Get back on. of the Loggerheads territory. Nice tackle made out there. She's doing it on both sides of the ball. A great turnover in the breakdown. That's a tough break for the Loonies. They had four opportunities there that they could have gotten under the post. What really let them down was fundamental skills. We saw some of those passes going overhead, not to hands, a step behind, just a little too late. The Loonies really wasted their chance. Top two tackling teams. Entering round three, the loggerheads close to, well, over 90 now. It was coming in, of course. Injured player down. Yes. As they tend to her. Let's bring in the third member yeah, of our team, Vader. The difference in the two benches, indeed. The loggerheads are really energetic, up on their feet, cheering the entire time. Uh, the loonies a little bit more subdued, so that energy is certainly transcending onto the pitch, as we can see. But as they tend the loggerheads to a, an injured player, we'll get a break here on the field. Back up to you guys. Thank you, Phaedra. And it's Sui Ao that's slow to get up. Man, what a, you weren't kidding. What an impact she's made here on both sides of the ball, Ashley. Yeah, and she's not just a great player, she's it's a really penalty. great person. She's one of those people that you can always count on giving that extra yeah, effort. Yeah, okay. She's had to work really Thank hard you. to work on something like her yep, fitness coming into Central as a freshman. That was Wait the one area of the off. field she lashed all the fundamental skills and she put in the work every single day to be a this player that can hang on the sevens field, which is incredible for a player her size. Yes, Jessica Liu, the 26-year-old who was in the top seven in DC selections has checked in. Final sequence here in this opening half. There goes the horn. We play on. Loggerheads working outside. Lou with it. Offload. Mishandle. They get it back, but they're going to call this a knock on. And we've got another injured player, slow to get up, not even getting up. And that's Lou who just checked into the match. Julia. 
taken down on that carry and has yet to really move much at all. Yeah, that's really unfortunate happening right next to the sideline. The medical staff immediately attending to her. We'll take that into half, give everybody a drink of water and a breath. Get an update potentially from her here in a minute. So if you're the loonies, I mean, you, you're going in down, but I mean, this could be a lot more than 5 nothing, right? Absolutely. The loonies have had their opportunities. There has been so much space, especially in the middle of the field. The loggerheads were looking a bit tired there. But like I said, fundamental skills, identifying and executing a 2v1, and they're into space. So they continue to... 10 down there to Five, 10 seconds. Jessica Liu, recently graduated from Harvard Law School, and there are a lot of people. I don't like the looks of this. Looks like they're going to bring a stretcher out. She's down beneath our vantage point here at Q2 Stadium. Being very careful with her. And they are bringing the board out to looks like help her off of the pitch. As a player, what goes through your mind when these situations happen, Ashley? It's it, never easy, I know. Absolutely, and when that's your teammate, mm -hmm. you've got to really try to separate yourselves because there's still a game to play. You love, you care, you've got to support this person, but at the same time, there's a championship on the line, so it's a really tough mental battle. And one thing that I always would try to do is just motivate myself by that player, do what I can for them, you know, and then after the game, then you check on their well-being. Let's go down to Fader Knight, who's down there right near that. Fader, what can you tell us? Yeah, I mean, the incredible medical team is tending to Jess Lou. She appeared to hit her head in that tackle. Uh, incredible concern from both sides of the pitch both from the loonies and obviously the loggerheads. They're gonna get her stabilized and onto the board as soon as possible, but certainly the kind of situation that we don't wanna see, but certainly giving her some positive vibes. That was basically about 10 feet from you, right? Where you're standing down there when mm -hmm. it happened? Absolutely, right in front of me. And it, ha it didn't seem to be um, a particularly hard tackle, but I think she landed in a sort of peculiar way and hit her head and that that really didn't didn't end well but she seems to be opening her eyes which is a great sign she's moving her hands um, and as a precaution they're just going to cart her off the field on the stretcher but she looks she seems to be regaining a some understanding of where she is so Thanks for that, Phaedra. One thing to notice about this pitch, you can't really see in the view of the camera, mm -hmm. but there is a separation there right where this injury happened from the, the Astro turf that is a hybrid of grass and there turf, and then the turf right there that is concrete. So that right-hand side mm -hmm. is concrete covered by turf. She's laying right on that line between the two. So although the AstroTurf is still hard, that separation of concrete is much harder if a head were to hit that ground there. That's the tough part about having the sideline so close you know, to the end of the field. You want to stretch the width. We want to get the biggest pitch size possible, but we can see now player safety, that, that being that close to that line is obviously causing a danger. Yep, so that is Jessica Liu they're tending to, and we're seeing it from here. Out of respect, we won't show it to you. That's the reason we're showing the teams. The Loonies down 5 nothing here. Loggerheads got the try from Angie Olakunmi. She's been really good here. She's in the middle of your picture there with her arms crossed. And certainly, you, you talked about, you both did. It, it, you see a fallen teammate down. It's, it's always a difficult thing. And they're bringing a cart out now. Looks like they're going to get that cart over there, get her on the the board and take her away and make sure everything's negative, we hope. And with a series like this, these teams have spent three, four weeks together on the road. So mm -hmm. it is not even just your teammates. The entire franchise as a whole, the entire organization as a whole, all of PR7s at this point, they are friends. They know yep. each other. We see them in the hotel, at lunch, at breakfast. They're all interacting, you know, with their teams, but also outside of their teams. So this is not only going to affect the loggerheads, but this is entirely, you know, something that other teams have to look at as well and, you know, pick themselves up from. Yeah, it's one big family, no doubt about it. Being very careful with her and for good reason. 26-year-old. Still not much movement there. Luckily in great hands with the staff here with PR7s mm -hmm. doing everything they can to just take every single precaution. 
A stretcher over to the area where Jessica Liu is. Looks like they're going to use that instead of the flat board that we're seeing. There's a vantage point of where everything happened and where Lou is. You see players out there starting to get themselves warm again. This is a long break for mm -hmm. sevens. In sevens, your halftime is only two minutes. Good point. Your body doesn't cool down in two minutes. At this point, heart rates have now dropped. That's yeah. the one thing. In two minutes, your heart rate's still up, and so the adrenaline's high, the energy's high. Getting back into this match now, it's not only a mental battle, but the length, as long as this extends, it becomes physical, physical as well. Yeah. yeah. You've been there. You know. I know you and Fader both have, and you're – careers as players and it's like now they're getting the board underneath Lou and getting ready to get her on there. See all the training staff, medical personnel being very careful with her. Loggerheads team showing some unity together, mm -hmm. getting a team warm up in. I'm sure they're standing out there lifting each other's spirits and their heads connecting not only physically but mentally to get themselves back into this match. I can imagine as a captain, as a teammate, you're sitting there saying, look, guys, there's nothing we can do about this. We'll keep her in our hearts, in our thoughts, in our prayers, but we've got to finish the job for her. So it all transpired after Sui Aho had to come out. She was dinged up, and Lou was not in this match very long and trying to make a play late here in the first half. Tackled, and she's been down now for few minutes now here is getting her strapped on to the board. Teammates watching on as their fallen teammate being tended to Liz Tafuna there. Second match here on the women's side. We'll have the headliners and the experts to follow. Once the final is set here on the women's side in the consolation game, we'll get to the men's semis. Dallas Stanford, Fader Knight will have the call of those. Outside of these two teams as well, it won't really affect the men as they haven't started warming up yep. yet. But the other two women's teams getting ready for the semifinal, this changes how they have to approach the next game as well because at halftime of this match, they were warmed up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Then you sit and wait another seven minutes, however long this takes, your body cools down. So this definitely has a trickle effect, probably not to the men as they're not up and moving quite yet, but this next game for sure. See some of the fans that have made their way into Q2 Stadium here. and Fortunate situation with Jessica Liu. Tackled, taken down, stretching her off the pitch here. And take her back for further medical testing. Loggerhead's team, they came into this third stop on the series. The top team on the women's side with 16 points. Headliners at 13, experts at 8, and the Loonies, the team they're playing, the Loggerheads, just three, but as Ashley's pointed out more than Ladies. once, and it's a fact, it doesn't matter where Ladies. you are at coming in, it matters what you do here in these matches. This Looney's team, even though they've only got three points, they still got a shot to win the whole thing. They do, but at this point, what I expect to see here from the loggerheads is the heart and the grit and the fight. The Looney's, they care too, but, it, you know, yeah. it's been long enough. You know something serious is, is happening here. We're happy to see her up on the stretch and getting taken off of the field, but this is going to drive that loggerheads team to getting the championship today. Yeah, hard to argue that. There you see Jessica Liu on there. See her moving her fingers a little bit, moving her arms there as they get her strapped in there and they'll take her and do the medical testing and we're thinking of her and hoping everything is negative and she's all right still got time here on the clock here in this first half only try came from Angie Olakunmi the 22 year old she's got seven to lead the series on the women's side having a great time guys We do have to play. Wish there a cat roach saying we still got a little bit of time to play here. There's 10 seconds on the clock. 
I'm sure that thing goes real fast. There's three people pushing. Jessica Liu will be taken back. Lengthy number of tests they'll do on her. And we get word, we'll certainly let you know. Hoping for the best for her. You absolutely hate to see it in a yeah. sport like this, especially, you know, it's a rough and tough sport, but mm -hmm. you are taught all sorts of ways to take precautions to protect yourself and your body. You don't see it often, especially to this extreme. We see some hand movement there, yep. which is great it enough. Is giving us a sign that she is okay. You know, obviously going to get tests and take any precautions she needs. She's absolutely done for the day, yeah, for the weekend, probably mm -hmm. for a, you know, a minute to recover, but it is right. good to at least get a sign there. All right, so they'll take her back and gives a thumbs up there. And the fans showing their respect and appreciation for her and for that thumbs up as they take her back, and they'll get her to the hospital here nearby, the closest one, and get her checked out. The other side of this mental battle you've got to think about as well, it's hard when sometimes when you see an injured player and you still yeah. got to go play the game right. that they just got injured playing in. So yeah. I think it'll be a real testament to some of these players' mental strength here the rest of this tournament. So out of the scrum here, the loonies come away with it. Inside ball. Trying to break free here. <laughs> Big opportunity here, they go, they're off and running. The Loonies trying to take this one in here on the final play of the half, and they do. It is put down, a break, and they are in as Thompson took it in. Taja Thompson added to their selections, and she gives them their first points of the match. That is tough for the loggerheads. They're gonna take that one to heart. Not only did she score the try, but right underneath the post, giving them a better opportunity here to not only go into the half tied, but in the lead. Yeah. What a response there. The conversion is no good, Ashley. So we are in a 5-5 match here as we've reached the halftime break. And Deja Thompson, there she is into the lineup and she does that. That's huge for them. And we'll step aside and take our two minute timeout. Halftime comes up when we come back here in semifinal number one. Five five here on Fubo Sports is our score here. Ben Holden, Ashley Burge, Fader Knights down pitch side. Good to have you with us. Wherever you're watching here, it's the first of two semifinals here on the women's side. Loggerheads took a 5-0 lead, but the Loonies, Ashley, coming back with a final play, getting a try to get this thing even at five. Yep, all it took was the Loggerheads one quick second to switch off there. The Loonies finally took advantage of a play that's been open for them majority of this first half, so it was nice to see them capitalize on the try. Loggerheads there in green. They enter this, the top team on the women's side. They're getting a little sloppy with a ball here, and they turn it over here. Wow. That is a major mistake. One thing is you don't want to shovel those bad balls. If you receive a bad ball, the chance of you delivering one are very high. That went not only through the bouncing hands of one, but two Loggerheads players. Someone in the Loggerheads is a line out five meters out from their try. We talked about this earlier. This is anybody's game. It's yeah. knockout rounds. If the Loonies take this one, they're in for the championship. You're right. Loonies have it. Came in with just three points in the previous two stops in San Jose and D.C. They might have something here, and they do! This one taken in, and they get it down, and the Loonies with a conversion kick pending are on top. 10-5 as Nordstrom took that in. That was very oh impressive go. by the Loonies. It started from a line out all the way on the right side of the field. They used every single meter of this pitch. The ball went sideline to sideline. You see the loggerheads, they start a little bit tight and then they have to chase sideways. This pitch is so wide, you almost have to line up outside in to prevent yourself from over chasing just like that. What a way to start the half here. Huge kick coming up here. And it's going to remain 10-5. So the loggerheads just need a counter with a try. 
it's an important conversion to really try to make there because now you're only down five points. Right. So all the loggerheads need is one converted try. See Angie Olakunmi there, and it is so hot. You, I mean, I don't know if you can completely stay hydrated on a day like this. It's just tough, but she has been a key, key piece to their team. Yes, but with that speed, having a hamstring issue, that takes away her number one strength and skill set as a player for the Loggerheads team. She's a finisher. That's her job. So if she starts having hamstring issues, that is another major loss for the Loggerheads. And guess what? The Loonies have it back now. They're on top by five here. And a break here, and they got an opportunity to go up even more. Taken down, ball came out. Loggerheads down there, batted around. And the Loonies get on it and get it down. After all that crazy sequence, they're on top 15-5 now. A little bit lucky to come away with that one without a knock on. That's just a split second turnoff. She had the gas and slows up thinking she's away. Almost lost him the ball. What scored that try for the Loonies was great support. So now the conversion kick makes it a 12 point game. 17 5. Let's look back here at the end of this. Just smart heads up. Yep, it was a great defensive play. That tackle bopping the ball back out of the hands, a follow through to the loonies. All you've got to do is touch it down, and that's exactly what they did. Tammy Ogan, Jimmy there. It's slow to get up, back onto her feet. Capped by Canada. Gold medal in 2019 with their team in the Pan Am game. So the loonies have taken complete control of this match here, Ashley. Leading by a dozen here with inside of three minutes to go. A big moment here. The Loonies taking too much time. They were making a sub on the field. Referee saying, you are pausing play intentionally. Gives the ball immediately to the loggerheads. Kiwi right at the halfway line, trying to break through. Tried to offload there, didn't work out. They get it back, Purs spins it outside. Maybe something here inside of the 22. Good tackle there. Tracking down the ball carrier. That's Autumn Zaplicki. Now they work through the phases to this side. Good tackle there, taking down the ball carrier. That was Natalie Borkland. Back up! Worked free, Kiwi. Long ball into the middle of the pitch. She gets it back. Outside wide with it, off the mark though. Played on a hop though and gathered in here. Trying to break a tackle, she does. And the loggerheads counter and it's Autumn Zap Licky. And this conversion coming up is going to be big. They're not right in front of it. She got as close as she could, Ashley. Yeah, but it took a lot of chances by the loggerheads. There were a few times there that they were getting pretty sucked in. That fundamental skill, not catching the ball to hands there. They were lucky to pick that one up. Good and kick. Good kick right there. And that's a big kick. Here's a look back at the try. So again, you kick on a vertical line of where the ball gets touched down. So you see her really fighting to get to the center and then being smart there about touching it down right before the loonies can get it. Back to it now. 80 seconds left here in the match. The winner goes on to the women's final. Where they'll take on the experts or the headliners. They play next. The loggerheads there trying to do something a little bit tricky. They know time is of the essence. They quickly tapped the ball over the 10 with a little bit of a grubber kick. Didn't end up going their way. You've got that to is line just up. showing the Even. fight they have that they want Hips. to win this match. Crouch! Five. Thompson will put it in here on this scrum. Looney's going just run this time down and score again, and they might do it on this play. It is going to be a try, and it's taken in and put down. With half a minute to go, massive play there. Hihi Kuru with it. Played very well in D.C., and a huge play from her to put him up by 10. It was a turn and burn down the sideline. The wheels are what did the trick. If she would have gotten caught, she was entirely by herself. A little bit of a shutoff here from this scrum from the loggerheads. The hooker and the nine went both to the same side of the scrum when it broke out on defense, leaving a very big gap on that 
um, shorthand side for the Loonies to have a 2v1 down the sideline. The wheels had her all the way. Conversion kick no good. You see the Selly after. Nice job on that. It's a 10-point lead it is full time. for the Loonies. Three points entering this one today. They were 13 back of the loggerheads. On the 10. At this point, the game is up. The loggerheads cannot win it, but they want to fight one more time, try to get themselves one more on the board for their fallen teammate and just the performance that they know they were capable of much Not more today. That's ruled a knock on there by Cat Roach and the Loonies get the win in the basement. But guess what, Ashley Burns? They are going to the women's final. Yep, it's a big congratulations to them. It's exactly what we spoke about earlier. It was anybody's game. What a win for them. 5-5 five, five at the half. They come back with a couple of tries in the second half, and they're on their way to the women's final. More to come from Austin after this.